Hello everyone, my name is Jason Marco. You're watching Sea Voices, new book on sale now. Joined here with Kaleo, hey. Emperor of the Universe, <laughs> and lead singer of Pepper. Oh, how you doing, my man? How you doing, sir? Good. Thank you for having us down thank here. You, thanks this for coming cool. out. This is beautiful. If you don't know where we are, we're in San Clemente right now. It's gorgeous. Next to the water, uh, uh, which we're, we're here to talk about. Tell me what it is you love about the ocean. It's so easy. It's just everything. Everything about her is absolutely stunning. And uh, growing up in Hawaii, that's how it was. Every day in the ocean, all the time. Surfing, swimming, diving. I'm really understanding what a privilege that was. Okay. Thanks to uh, this lovely, uh, beautiful book, The Sea Voices, I've, I've come to realize that at my age, I've really taken a lot for granted, but sure. not anymore. Okay. And, uh, you know, looking at everything that's currently happening with the ocean and the situation, it's, I feel real blessed just to even have a section of that uh, part of life for sure. me. And sure. I really want to ensure that other people have that as well, because it would be completely selfish for me to use that and not have anyone else experience it the way I did. Certainly. So being from Hawaii, then the issue with Camilo Beach. Yeah. Has to get really close home. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, Camilo, which is on the south side. Um, it's an incredible area. I mean, when you think about it, it's just this area that attracts everything to it. And back in the back in the day, it was kind of cool because you know, uh, ancient Hawaiians would just like find all this like you know like, huge pieces of wood and logs and stuff, or or maybe even like uh, you know. Uh, bones, you know, that would wash up, you know, that's mm -hmm. a, just for somewhere. It's just a vortex where the ocean carries it too. Nowadays, though, it's the uh, it's the plastic. Sure. And the everywhere, plastic is just being disposed in the ocean. And you know, it, it's horrible how this stuff breaks down because it doesn't. It sure. kind of breaks down in a way. I, there's a word for it. And I don't want to butcher it, but uh, it, it kind of just breaks down into little bits of plastic. Sure. However, not going anywhere. And then it kind of mimics what it's around, like sand. And then, you know, everything that's using the sand is going to be using this plastic in it. Sure, and sure. right there, it's, it's, it's a horrible situation. The best defense that we kind of have for this area of Hawaii on the south side is, you know, cleanup. Sure. But, I mean, that's, it's kind of a never ending battle. So is that the best thing people can do to help is, is clean up their local beaches? No, I would probably suggest the best thing for them to use is any technology that they have in their hands at any given time. I know I'm guilty of it, but check it out. I mean, there's so many ways to help out. And basically it comes down to you just being educated and thinking before we purchase something that's instead of just instantly buying, you know, in our throwaway culture, just try to think about like, Hey, when I'm done with this, where is it going? It's it really is a privilege. It's amazing that we have this. So please take care of her because we need you to. That's it. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, join us on Sea Voices TV. Aloha.